want to talk about the isolated uniflange ball valve from Webstone that's used to assist the installation and repairment of circulator pumps by cutting off the zone where the circulator pump is so that you can work on it. And it makes it very easy. And Webstone has a lot of different types of these, different models and everything that I'm just gonna break down in this video so you know what you're purchasing when you're buying an isolator valve. So first I wanna talk about the original flange ball valve, which has a 360 degree rotating flange. And this is very helpful because if your pump is ever obstructed by any other equipment, you can rotate this and get the work on it that you need to do. Another thing to note about this is that it prevents electrolysis, which is important for keeping away galvanic corrosion at your fittings. If you've ever seen that white stuff around your fittings, you know what it is and you don't want that. It's also designed to fit almost any circulator pump and most importantly, this is guaranteed for life. So this serves a very similar function as the last isolator valve, but it has this drain function right here. And this is important because it allows the system to be emptied with just opening this, this flow port. So once this is installed on the pump, you can drain above or below the pump and then start your service. So it allows you to be more flexible by letting the water run through the pump and then out through this emptying spot or just letting gravity take hold and emptying the water out through this. So this next isolator valve is a round flange for variable speed pumps. So it's specifically designed for high efficiency variable speed pumps. And I'll show you what models are. So it's designed to accommodate high efficiency variable speed pumps, including the Taiko 00E, Grunfos Magna 3, the Bell and Gosset Eco Circ XL, and the Wilo Stratos. I also wanted to note that this isolator has a detachable and rotating flange on the bottom, which is very helpful. You'll find that when you're working with this, it's, it goes the extra yard. So this right here is the four-way selectable flow path valve, which allows you to easily select any of these outputs that you see so that you can direct the flow towards them. So this allows you to easily fill, sample, or test a gauge right at the pump, which a lot of you know is probably very helpful. This one inch side port allows for filling and purging, so it's absolutely ideal for geothermal applications. So this isn't an isolator ball valve, but it's a double flange check valve, and it's designed for installation between a pump and an isolator valve. So this check valve features one of the biggest available flow rates compared to any other check valves. And it also has a rotating flange, which makes it perfect for installing. And it's way more flexible in terms of where you can place your, your pump and your isolator valve. So Webstone offers a lot of different isolator valves. If you're looking for one, I hope I made this easier for you to purchase. Um, Webstone also has a ton of other valves that I'm gonna be covering in my next couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. If you found this helpful, then subscribe and like the video. Thank <laughs> you.